Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm not going to hold y'all too long in this intro, but I wanted to tell you that, you know, some of our favorite shows, they come on, we're so excited, but then we're a little sad when the finale comes around, right? That's no different from The Great American Recipe. Season three is winding down and the season finale airs on Monday, August the 12th at nine o'clock on PBS. Now the show celebrates the stories and recipes of eight talented home cooks. Now in the house today, returning back to Check the Rhymes is the host of The Great American Recipe, Alejandra Ramos. So she's gonna tell us what we can expect and more, so stay tuned. I'm a southern boy, so I like to fry it or grill it or smoke it. Food is my love language. If I'm not cooking for you, I don't love you. Welcome back to Check the Rhymes. How are you? Oh my gosh, it's so great to be back with you again. (laughs) (laughs) We had such a great time the first time, so I'm excited that you're back. But I'm also a little sad that it is the season finale of The Great American Recipe. So what can we expect on the finale? (laughs) Uh, I think this is going to be our most exciting uh, season finale yet. I mean, it's, it is it is bittersweet because we have to say goodbye to our, our home cooks, and it's been such a fun journey of mm-hmm. these past eight weeks. But it's it's going to be a great show. We have three amazing finalists. We've got Marcella, Ajo, and John, who've just blown our minds all season long, and they are really bringing it um, um, in our finale. But then also, we've got some special surprises, Ooh. which I will not re- I, w- I want you to watch them. I want you to enjoy them live. Like I'm, he- I'm so tight lipped on this that not even my husband knows about it. Uh, <laughs> like it's beyond me, and he's gonna be blo- he's gonna be so excited when he sees some of it. So it's gonna be fun. I've got all these behind the scenes photos I haven't even like shared or anything because I really uh-huh. don't want anyone. But uh, it's gonna be a fun show, and yeah, the food's gonna be incredible. It's just gonna be a great party. Oh, I can't wait. So, are there any highlights from this season that have been your absolute favorites? I think my favorite thing about this season uh, was all the new dishes and ingredients that I got Mm -hmm. to try. Like I I was actually telling someone uh, earlier today this, that I tried more new things this season than like I ever have before. And not just me, (laughs) like our amazing judges too, Mm -hmm. Tim Hollingsworth, Slim, uh, and Tiffany Derry, who are, I mean, these are incredible chefs, uh, incredible home cooks. They know food and Mm -hmm stuff was still new to them so that's what really makes it so exciting I mean I tried reindeer I tried moose I tried these incredible uh stews from Togo I tried like things from Pittsburgh which is not even that far away from (laughs) New York but they were still totally new to me I mean it was it we had such a great uh cast of home cooks this season they're they're Mm -hmm. like they really brought it did you say reindeer? Because I think I'm still stuck there. <laughs> like Rudolph. Yeah, right here. I know. That was like, and I think that was, I want to say that was like the first, the first week. I mean, mm-hmm. it was like straight out the gate. We were like, oh, okay. Because she was from Alaska. And yeah. so she brought um, a lot of these local dishes that we, you know, are not as typical in other parts of the mm-hmm. country. But that's what's so cool about the show, right? That we're yeah. really um, facing the, mm-hmm. the regional differences. Of yeah. The- nation. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to ask a really ignorant question, but did the reindeer, because I'm still stuck on this, did the reindeer taste like chicken or what did it taste like? Okay. There's no such thing as an ignorant question. And I love that question because I would not have known what reindeer tasted like. Um, yeah. It was beefy. I would say beefy. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think that was kind of, it's, um, if you ever had like a venison or any kind of um, a game meat, it was like a sort of like, like that. That okay kind of um, okay yeah. I mean it was, it was great it was exciting and there was also like good like fun seasoning and stuff there was also this like Alaska sausage so it like combined a lot of different flavors um yeah blew, blew me away uh super super fun wow yeah this I mean there are things I'm sure dishes I could probably never have even imagined that are on this show um so as the host though how do you create this positive environment for those contestants as they're moving through the process because it seems like you're just you're so sweet you're so encouraging like how how do you maintain that through the whole season <laughs> so, I mean I think honestly it's just genuine I am like a high energy person from the moment I wake up um until the moment I go to sleep <laughs> um Sometimes my husband's like, settle down, lady. Um, but yeah, I but I think that it's I love what I do. And mm-hmm. I I mean, I love our show. I love our cooks. I love eating. I love PBS. Um, and all having all of that come together, it's just yeah. it's fun. 
and it is it's emotional and there are long days and, and it can be challenging, but um, the energy in the room is so good. It's not just me. It's mm -hmm. it's the, the community that we've built, not just with the people you see on camera too, but also our amazing crew, uh, yeah. everyone behind this. Like we are all there for the love of food, for the love of story, of education. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it really comes through. And I hope that viewers at home are, are receiving that and feeling that. Yeah, I was looking at, I think one of the, it was a YouTube clip and I saw in the comments that people are really loving the season and, and they, they were feeling what you, just what you described. And I thought that was really awesome. <laughs> I love, I love that. And I mean, I think, you know, I think each season just keeps getting better and better. Mm -hmm. And uh, this season was especially fun because we took the show on the road. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, have two new judges that joined our family. So mm -hmm. just kind of, and, and of course these eight brand new cooks. Yeah. Um, and yeah, all of that was just like, it was fresh, exciting energy. And, uh, it was a really, really fun experience. Will you guys be back for season four? Maybe, you know, <laughs> we are, I am going to, I like to stay present, right. Gotta stay <laughs> mindful. <laughs> right. <laughs> Focus on our, our finale and, uh, celebrating and, and really making sure that our winner gets their due and that we can really just, you know, Give them all that joy and celebrate them. Um, and also just celebrate all of our cooks, all eight of our cooks and, and their journey and their, their dishes and everything that they shared with us this season. Uh, and then, you know, if we've got great news, I'll be sure you you find out ASAP. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and and real quick, one last question, just because I see a lot of um, up and coming um, journalists and hosts that are interested in this space. Do you have any advice for them? I love that question. And um, yeah, and I'm always like happy to chat with folks who are interested in it. I mean, I think for me, this has always been a journey about following my passion and really, I, I say I'm whim driven, right? Like I, yeah. I kind of follow my and I go with the things that I love. And I think that anytime that you really put yourself into that and just be genuine and be yourself and don't feel like you need to fit a specific mold of something you've seen on another chef or another cooking show, right? Like you mm -hmm. just be yourself because that is in on TV, in food, in all aspects of your life, right? That's mm -hmm. when you thrive. You can really be your your most authentic self because um, that's what's going to light other folks up. Uh, and so, yeah. yeah. That's great advice. I think people um, sometimes forget that. They don't have to just emulate somebody. They could just be themselves and be authentic. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. don't want like a bunch of copycat versions, right? Like right. that's that's what sparks you is when someone's like, yeah, they're, they're, there's something special. There's something new there, so. Well, I want to thank you for coming back on Check the Rhymes to talk about the season three finale. It airs on Monday, August the 12th at nine o'clock on PBS. I will be watching on, and I will be standing by to see if we're going to get another season. And hopefully you guys will eventually make it to North Carolina. <laughs> oh my, I would love that. That'd be so, I would love to be like all over the country. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, have a great day. Thank you, Shanika. Thank Take you. Care. You too.